Hello, I am Antena Faisa and I would like to give you a brief overview of my article Brivaracetam in the Treatment of Epilepsy, a review of clinical trial data. In this article, I discuss pharmacological properties, efficacy, tolerability, and safety profiles of Brivaracetam with emphasis on its clinical trial data. Brivaracetam was discovered during target-based rational drug discovery and due to its highly lipophilic property, it can rapidly enter the brain much faster than levetiracetam. Although its metabolism involves the CYP450 enzymes, it has a low potential for clinically relevant drug interactions. Generally, dose adjustment is not required in patients with renal failure. However, severe impairment of liver function dictates dose reduction. Similar to levetiracetam, brevirastam binds to the human synaptic vesicle protein, 2A, however, with much higher binding affinity. By binding to this protein, brevirastam modulates its effects on neurotransmitter release. Unlike levetiracetam, brevirastam does not inhibit presynaptic calcium channels or modulates inhibitory postsynaptic receptors. There were six regulatory randomized controlled trials of brevirastam as an adjunct therapy involving over 2,400 patients with drug-resistant epilepsy. Participants receiving brevirastam as add-on were more likely to experience reduction in seizure frequency than receiving placebo. They were also more likely to attain seizure freedom. Treatment emergent adverse events significantly associated with brevirastam were somnolence, headache, dizziness, and fatigue. The most common psychiatric adverse events were irritability, insomnia, and anxiety. Since Brivarastam's approval, there have been several meta-analysis and post-marketing studies that report its utility in status epilepticus as an add-on agent, its broad-spectrum efficacy, reduced rate of psychiatric adverse events as compared to levetiracetam, and for those that respond to levetiracetam but with intolerable psychiatric adverse events, immediate switch from levetiracetam to brevirastam without titration is feasible. In conclusion, the six regulatory clinical trial programs, as well as post-marketing and meta-analysis studies suggest that brevirastam is a safe and effective anticonvulsant. It's better tolerability compared with levetiracetam in terms of psychiatric adverse events is of great interest and requires further research. Future studies are also needed to clarify its efficacy and tolerability beyond focal epilepsies. Thank you.